How to connect VDG cable to your motherboard. In modern computer builds, aesthetics play an important role just as much as performance. RGB lighting has become a popular feature among PC enthusiasts, and one of the elements vital to this setup is the VDG cable. This cable allows you to connect RGB devices such as fans and light strips to your motherboard, ensuring synchronized lighting effects across your system. Here's a step-by-step -step guide on how to connect a VDG cable to your motherboard. Step 1. Prepare your components. Before you start, ensure you have all the necessary components at hand. VDG cable, this is the cable that will connect your RGB devices to the motherboard. Motherboard manual, it will help you locate the VDG header on your motherboard. Screwdrivers, you might need them to open the case. Step 2, power down and unplug your PC. Safety first. Ensure your PC is completely powered down. Unplug all cables and remove the side panel of your case to access the motherboard. Step 3. Locate the VDG header on your motherboard. Referring to your motherboard manual, identify the VDG header. This header is usually labeled VDG, D underscore LED 1, or something similar. It typically has three pins arranged in a specific line, making it easier to identify among other headers. Step 4. Connect the VDG cable to the motherboard. Align the VDG connector with the header on your motherboard. VDG connectors usually come with a specific alignment notch to prevent improper connections. Carefully press the connector onto the header until it is firmly in place. Avoid applying too much pressure to prevent damage. Step 5. Connect your RGB devices. Next, attach the other end of the VDG cable to the compatible port on your RGB devices such as fans, strips, or hubs. Ensure secure connections to each of the devices. Step 6. Test the setup. Close your PC case and reconnect all cables. Power on your system and check if the RGB lights are functioning as expected. If not, power down and recheck all the connections. Troubleshooting tips. No lights, if the RGB lights do not turn on, ensure the VDG cable is fully seated in the header and the RGB device ports. Also, check the power supply to your RGB components. Incorrect lighting effects, if the lighting effects are not as expected, verify the compatibility of your RGB components with the motherboard software. Update your motherboard's BIOS if necessary. Motherboard documentation, always refer to the motherboard's manual for specific details regarding port locations and hardware compatibility. Conclusion Connecting a VDG cable to your motherboard is a straightforward process that can significantly enhance the visual appeal of your computer system. By following the steps above, you can ensure a seamless connection and optimal performance of your RGB lighting setup. Enjoy your beautifully lit PC!